Hello, welcome back to episode 51 of our Gene Forge playthrough. We are in the Western Mines, and there's plenty. Enacted before proceeding. Oh, fantastic. There's plenty of defenses to take care of, but one thing we might do is we might go searching in some other previous areas for some mine nutrients. Uh, yeah, we can always retreat now some more rough crystals. Uh, we're probably going to fully explore this area first. We can always retreat back to the, uh, the previous area to restock our essence at the essence pool. Let's go up first. We've had good luck with that so far. Oh, there was an enemy unit up there. Alright, just uh, some kitchen, some bowls and spoons. Make sure our pathfinding is working out for us. Oh, 190 health. Alright, let's uh, paste up and start the fight. Oh no. Yeah, let's get these our, our till out of here. Big hit. Oh, we have two. Nice. Alright. Evaluation. Alright, we'll come back and check those nests. We're too high level to get experience from this, and haste that these things take four or five hits. That's crazy. We definitely went the wrong way, heading over to see Ghosh first. Oh, Pylon, alright. We'll uh, retreat back over here, and go around the other way for now. Snaring Crystal. Uh, crystal and a living tool. Double check our weight, 89 pounds. Nice bump up that last uh, last episode where we get that strength canister. Yeah, that's the right idea. All right, pull back. All right, pile on there. All right, there's that other pile on. All right, hide behind the wall. Well, that's just rude. All right, cursed war off. All right, here's battle to start. to retreat after this to uh, fill up our our essence. Quite a bit of crystals. Which is what they make in these mines from the, uh, the rough crystals make the icy crystals. Alright, I'm going to assume Let's just go ahead and make, yeah, make some stacks of uh, crystals and gemstones here. Head back. So we've got the mine core. So uh, I, I did a little research in between episodes. There is more nutrients. Um, there should be some at the docks here, but we might have to to get the defenses turned off in the mine, and we may in fact, I'm almost 100% certain that I'm going to go back and uh, 
find the the nutrients there because we need those to get Erwin here to turn the defenses off. Although it seemed the the information seemed to think that with enough leadership we could do it without all of that. But it didn't seem like that was an option. Let's talk to him again. I attempt to wake up the mind. Yeah, and we have way more than the leadership that it thought we would need. Unless we need 14 leadership. Alright, we already checked all of these. So let's go see if we can get some nutrients from the guarded docks. Head on out. Grab our... <laughs> let's see. Uh, yeah. We'll leave everything that's not a crystal. There's so many. <laughs> so many living tools here. Alright, picking up all that crystals is 120 pounds. Okay, Eastern Mine. We may actually have to leave that here because we're going to have to cross these um, Yeah. So actually, it was a little bit of a mistake. We have to leave them here because we have to cross the lava things and that will reduce our action points too much which means we won't be able to go across properly 46 gemstones. All right, let's get going. All right, come on across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wait your turn. All the way across. Oh. Maybe that was the move there. All right. We won't bother healing because we'll just pop over to a town. Oh, that was the other. So there was two places where it said there were servant mine nutrients, potentially. One is Kazg. The other is the guarded docks. So we'll try Kazg first because going there will uh, let us heal up. We cast ruins to the northeast corner behind the mine. So that minefield we didn't check out up here would have it. And the baton for that was over in this workshop. So let's go see if we can just steal it without making everybody mad. And then go get some servant mine nutrients to disable... All right, so before we go and make everybody angry, let's go ahead and see us living tools. There, green spore baton. All right, crime was seen. All right, nobody's mad at me though. So we'll just, uh, just move along. Nothing happened. We we're just borrowing the baton. We'll put it back when we're done. Not likely. All right. Let's step back here. How many charges do we have? Uh, green. We got twelve. All right. You inspect the records on these shelves. There are a list of servile workers and jobs they do. Nothing useful. All right. We need a mind disarmer. Let's see. All right. Got all three. Didn't blow ourselves or our creations up. 
Probably some right around the corner. If I was the designer, that's what I would do. Okay. Ooh. One more mine. Okay. Uh, back up a little bit. You're sure there was once a servant mine in this room? It is gone now, but... The cabinet is mostly empty. It does, however, contain a large ceramic jar sealed shut with a thick layer of wax. The label indicates that it is filled with nutritive goo used to sustain the lives of servant mines. Though it is bulky, you take it with you. Yeah, we got more mine nutrients. Okay. And... What do we do here? Ooh, create Vlish by one. So we yeah, have Vlish could be improved. And now we could theoretically create a Terror Vlish if our essence was high enough. So we're not going down the magical creations of Vlish is the magical creations route. But now we have both a green spore baton for any more green mines that we need to disable and we have some mine nutrients for servant mind Irwin so we can go back in here and turn all the defenses off so we don't have to keep walking over uh, Lava and fighting pylons. Let's see, let's walk over to here. Make sure we don't run over any lava while we're at it. Oh, wait. Here we go. All right, this is where we'll cross. Yep. Let's go across. Come on. All right. You can do it. Believe in you. He went backwards. Oh, the pathfinding in this game sometimes. Right, just in case we accidentally stumble onto something. And we will go ahead and pick these all back up. Put them back in this pile in the mine core. And go feed our good friend Big brain to servant mind. Alright, so we got 28 right here. 46 here. Head on down. Give everyone a snack. And feed him. Yeah, I am not above looking at guides for things that are super annoying, like walking over lava a billion times that would just slow us down so much. All right, feed nutrients to survive. It is a slow, messy job. The creature starts out completely immobile. You need to scoop the food into its mouth one tiny globule at a time. Eventually, you are able to revive it enough for it to eat on its own. Finally, it speaks. Its voice is weak, but you are able to understand it. Thank you, Shaper. I am Mind Irwin. Oh, but I was in a terrible state. I could feel what was happening in the mine, but I could not affect it. The defense has attacked you. I am so sorry. That sort of thing must never happen. I should be deactivated for my laziness. Please forgive me. I will help you however I can. All right, what do you know about the mine's defenses? I am completely in charge of them. Well, I was. I mean, I was supposed to be. I, I was, but not anymore. I can control them a little, but I am not strong enough to completely control them. What about the defenses just outside? The closer the pilots are, the better I can control them. I, wait, the defenses just outside attacked you? Yes. Well, this is terrible. Wait a moment. It is silent for a few seconds. Done. The pylons in this area of the mine will no longer attack you. That at least I can be sure of. Wait, is it just for this? Uh, there's a very large servant mine with a particularly well-developed forebrain. It was expected to carry out a lot of jobs and store a lot of information. You have to bend very close to even detect signs of life. Oh, wait. That's what we already... Okay. What was this mine for? I and the serviles I directed brought forth minerals and crystals from the rock. The stone in the area has a pleasing natural magic concentration. It was very useful in the research of the shapers. What sort of research do you know? Of course I know shaper. They described it to me so that I could pick out and process the correct minerals. I found the crystal to make their canisters. 
I purified the stone used to build the gene forge, and I maintained the processor machines. Tell me about the canisters. There were crystal cylinders which contained gene editing materials. I needed to find pure crystals without flaws to safely contain the potentially volatile substances within. That's a uh, modern, uh, I think the technology is CRISPR gene editing. <laughs> That knowledge is beyond me. My master, Karada, described it as a tiny, tiny scroll inside all living things, which describes the purest form of their essence. I did not understand, but he did tell me that the shapers were learned how to read that scroll and to rewrite it in a way pleasing to them. So it's, it is magic and it's not magic. It's technology and magic. All right, uh, let's go back in here. I have all the surfiles. Is it more there or just creations that support me? I want to know. Well, after the shapers left Sushi Island, they left. Not immediately. First, the food ran out, and there was some discomfort and roguish behavior. Then the units who were still functional went to Kask. I was left alone. Alright, what is this mine for? What do you know of the Gene Forge? It was a large stone basin, six feet across, which had to be made of the purest, strongest, most magically resonant stone. I also knew that it would be powered by several large and energetic stone spirals. No less was necessary for an artifact of such power, and I know all the supplies for it had to be shipped north. But if you want to know exactly what it does, I'm afraid I cannot help. Alright, what is a processor? There are several of them in these mines. You can place crystals in them, and they purify the crystals and process them into items. The eastern processor is currently set to produce missiles. The western processor is set to create wands, and the northern processor is set to produce weaponry. Okay. What about the canisters? Alright, we already read that. Another question. Do you know why it was abandoned? Well, one day Karada came to me and told me Sushi Island was going to be abandoned. And, well, he seemed confident that there would be some political maneuvering, and then Sushi Island would be unbarred. But to be honest, I do not think that happened. The departure was very hectic. Most people left most of their goods behind because there was little time to pack and because they believed they would be back. Karada was clear on one thing, though. He wanted to make sure all the mine's defenses were up and strong. Why? I don't know. He did say he left something important in the northern mines, though. Some sort of pass baton for the main research area. I don't know anything more than that. I am sorry, Shaper. Aha! Uh -huh. That was good info. Another question. Uh, who was Karada? One of the three leading shapers on Sushia. Karada was in charge of supplies and administration. Defniel took care of the school and training, and Danette directed research. All of their offices were in the main facility to the north. Surely they are all dead now. Very sad. And? Okay. Uh, what else can we... About my defenses? What about the defenses in the other parts of the mine? Mine has three wings, west, north, and east. If I concentrate very hard, it will be pain for me, but I can subvert the pylons. However, right now, I'm already concentrating on one of the wings. You must first give me permission to cease before I can deactivate another. Turn off the defenses in the north... Yeah, let's go to the north wing now. It is done, Shaper. You will now be able to move safely in the northern mines if you evade the rogues. Alright, so well, we got 20 experience, which is nice, and we lost mind nutrients, but theoretically we should be able to go to the northern mines and cross them safely. And then we can see about, alright. Let's see, can you walk over this? Oh, thank goodness. This is so irritating to have to do over and over again. Oh, and we left some uh, crystals and gems here. All right, well. So the Northern Mines defenses should be off, which means there should only be rogue creations. Ah, yes, we've got a green light. Fantastic. And the pylons aren't attacking us. Hooray! <laughs> this is so much nicer than having to slowly eke our way through. Oh, 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 oh. 
Of course. Of course. Someone left a mine in their office or their bedroom. And some trash. Living tool. Don't want it right now. Chain of us, bronze sword, and some gemstones. Yep. Yeah, we know what? We'll leave it outside the door so we don't have to come back in to get it out later. Who knows? Living tool make him an Andy. Alright, sword on the ground, chain of vest on the ground. We are currently at 92 pounds. Boy, it's so easy to get fat in this game. Alright. Pylons. Oh yes, this is this is truly the way to explore. I regret nothing about reading the where the nutrient mines were. Highly recommend. Okay. Uh, all right, defenses are off. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and use a living tool just because we have a bunch of them. And I don't want to waste the essence on... Well, someone really... Oh. Hey, I thought those were supposed to be off. Secured storage. Okay. Hit, uh... Hit some healing. All right, so we've got to find a way to turn off... Those defenses. All right, these ones are off. Let's see. Maybe there's some controls somewhere. Oh, rogues back here. A rogue nest back here. Samaritan sandals plus two to healing craft. Well, that's. Relax. So if we need to just stand around and heal. Crag, Battle Alpha Trundle trudges up to you. It is a massive muscled creature, the ultimate shaper melee design, basically unchanged in the last few centuries. This creature looks experienced but not ancient. It must have been hibernating. It looks at you coldly. It doesn't seem to recognize you as a shaper. It says in a slow, haughty voice, you, intruder. Karada told me to slay intruders. You die now. Uh, man, I wish... <laughs> Wait, I'm a shaper. Doesn't seem to know what a shaper is. Not care. You must be slain. Okay. We could have probably... Yes. Like, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just punch me in the face and kill me. Alright. Uh... People were forced to fight a devastating, terrible war because we died. <laughs> okay. This is why we... <laughs> We do periodic quick saves because of things like that. All right, so we went we went right. We didn't find a whole lot other than some battle alpha that wants to punch us in the face. Let's try going left this time. We may have to finish exploring in the next episode. But uh, all right, green light on. Evaluation. Small little room. Come over here. Just some regular rocks. Get a rough crystal. Alright. Punch me for 82. And I've got decent armor on too. Let's see what's in there. Under a thin layer of refuse, you find a key. Someone did a very poor job of hiding it here before the mines were abandoned. Clean up the goop and take it with you. Ooh, we got the mine key. How handy. So it seems like left was the right way to go. Alright, we're going to assume these ones are off. But our key works on this. Yep, one of your keys unlocks it. Okay. Let's go check this out. Uh, insufficient control. It's going to explode. Oh, <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, that's uh, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. By the time you read it's going to explode, you explode. Alright, so now we know where the key is. And we know that we need one more level of mechanics in order to not get exploded, even though we have the Tinker's Gloves on. So we won't <laughs> finish exploring the Northern Mines next time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.